in the beautiful town of Dea, right here on the island of Mallorca. Dea is one of the most famous towns on the island and it actually became quite famous in 1930 when English poet and author Robert Graves moved here and you know put it on the map but it is built right on the edges of the Tramontana mountain range. It is absolutely stunning. It's known to have some of the most expensive properties on the island and a lot of famous people buy holiday homes here. It's a haven for artists and musicians where they come and get their inspiration here. It is definitely a magical place. And as you can see, there's like such incredible views of the water and just the mountain range. You're just surrounded by it. Yeah, I am so excited to be here today and just I'm excited to check out the town and enjoy what Dea has to offer. I do have to say if you suffer from any sort of um, motion sickness, then the drive to Dea is going to be an interesting one because the roads are super narrow and windy and crazy sharp turns. So I took the bus here today and surprisingly the buses here in Mallorca are really nice. You wouldn't expect them to be that nice for an island, but super nice. But yeah, when you're coming around those corners, it's a pretty tight squeeze. Sometimes they're like slamming on the brakes right in the nick of time and then letting the other person by. So definitely an experience. There is your local Mallorcan donkey. <laughs> What he actually wants is these, and he knows they're up here, so he's actually just waiting for them. <laughs> you want more of these? You like these, hey? Okay. <laughs> you are cute. You are cute. Let's see if I can get some more. I could just sit here and feed donkeys all day. Cause he's so cute, but my hands are getting so dirty. Want some more? Want these? The little sidewalks in here are so interesting because they just like weave in and out and go up and down the hills and there's all these beautiful homes that you walk by and I can only imagine what they look like inside. That's the thing about homes um, in Mallorca is they're very deceiving from the outside. They can look quite um, a little plain but then once you get inside it's like magic. Um, oh, okay, so this was a dead end. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, most of, the, most of the sidewalks do go somewhere, but apparently this one, yes, dead end. All right, this one definitely is not a dead end because I see the road there. So we are on to something. That is a very unique mural of a cat there on the wall. Right up here by that snowman is a tobacco shop and then straight up from the tobacco shop is the bus stop. This is the main road through the town of Dea, so this is where you can walk down, you're gonna pass all the restaurants and shops and all those great things. And there is your supermarket. It's lunchtime and I decided to go to a restaurant Dea. One of my favorite pastimes is taking myself out on little me time dates and as you can see I picked this for the view. Mm, 
Okay, so we got some peppers with some Mayorkan sausage stuffed inside of them and it looks amazing guys. And one of my favorite things when I'm here is aioli and the olives. It's like a garlic homemade type of mayo and you always get bread and yeah, I already digged into the olives because they're so good. And yeah, my glass of white wine. Eu cresci com preto. pepper with sausage for the wind. I tried my very best to scoop up as much of that delicious sauce as I possibly could. I am so incredibly content with that late lunch that I just had. It was so good. The view is literally what made it. And even though it's December and a lot of things are shut, I almost think this is the perfect time to be here because you really get a more local feel and yeah, I get to see it a little less touristy. I mean, look at this. This is literally as picturesque as it comes. Look at that. This is stunning. Imagine living in some of those places. It's just so beautiful right now. It's getting a bit chilly, but so beautiful. The best part about this area too is there's so many paths and walkways. You can actually walk from Dea to Soye, um, which is another town. You can also walk to Valdemosa, um, which isn't far from here. So that's kind of like a nice little trek if you feel like packing a little backpack with some snacks and some water and just enjoying the fact that you can hike here and there's no wild animals that are going to get you. I think there's some like pigs or something like wild pigs, but that's it. I'm only realizing right now that aioli that I had was delicious, but super garlicky. <laughs> so my mouth tastes like garlic, which is fine with me. But I don't know if it's going to be like a pleasant smell if I talk to anyone else. Um, <laughs> it's so good. The more garlic, the better for me, especially in aioli. Because aioli is one of those things that, you know, when you come to Spain, Mallorca, just can't get enough of it. This is the other thing I think is super cool in Mallorca. Like if you look over there, people's like farms are built kind of like zigzagging up the mountain. I find it super interesting. I would like to understand more of why it's done like that. Um, obviously we're on the mountain sides, but I'm sure there's a lot more tactic to it than what I'm thinking. But I mean, yeah, there's probably a lot more behind it than that. And I would love to know, but look at this. And then there over there, you can see the water. It's just, Totally stunning. Also, something else I realized, I've always wondered, okay, so you live at a place like this. Imagine this, you live at a place like this, right on like the corner of the highway, of the road, <laughs> that are very narrow. Here comes a bus, and this is what I was talking about before. I'm like, buses coming, and it's so crazy. Whoa! And then another vehicle had to go, and then they had to slow down. This is what I'm talking about. These are some narrow roads, so be prepared for that when you come here. But yeah, I wondered, okay, little vehicles, Obviously, I'd have to have little vehicles sometimes to park because that's their parking. And I never see vehicles in accidents, but look at that little smashed up car. So it happens. It definitely happens. And kudos to that guy for literally cycling up this mountain. <laughs> oh, wow. See? Yeah, that's a good car for these roads. But, uh, yeah. Wow. Amazing. Also, let's take a moment to appreciate this lemon tree. Look at all those lemons growing on it. That is amazing. Between the lemons and the oranges here, they're incredible. So some lucky person has a very flourishing lemon tree and they are gonna make a lot of lemonade or a lot of tequila shots. I don't know, I guess it depends what you're into, but yes, amazing. Beautiful lemon trees. Wow, imagine living in here, like you're living in your own little secret garden. This is the, this is the life. Secret garden in Dea. Wow, like look at this house right here. Look how lush it is. Oh, again, I just can't help but breathe it in because it smells so 
So nice. So this is an interesting thing. You can see see the paths if you really look. The paths go here, all the way there. Obviously they would have to, right? Because people live all amongst here. Um, I just love it. I love these little stone walkways and these stairs and the fact that you never know where you're gonna get. That person down there has a pool. Lucky. Looks really nice. Wow. This is amazing. Look at these trees. Okay, you guys, just take one moment to appreciate this tree right here. That is amazing. That tree, does it actually grow in that design? Because, I mean, would you be able to go that high to trim it? But, wow, that is beautiful. I mean, they must grow like that. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful trees. <laughs> this is honestly amazing. And I like people have their names just the way their plaques are done, I guess, right? Very cool. Wow, Dea, you are a special place, aren't you? There you go. And see, it is clearly marked the direction to get to Soye if you want to walk the paths. I definitely want to do that, but there's many areas in town that will have that marking for you so you know which way to hike. I didn't know, but there's a museum here. It is closed, but very cool to know for next time. So here's the view from the other side. That is the restaurant I just ate at, Restaurant Dea. Now this is the other side that you see as you're below Restaurant Dea. Again, still so beautiful and I like these little waterfalls in this stream here This is the back of the tobacco shop that was right by the bus stops and look at you can buy your fruits and veggies here there is a little store in there Wow, there's even this fountain right in the middle of the town with a water scooper right there. And yes, water really does come out. That's amazing. That is so, so cool. Oh, you can't forget to pet the kitties. <laughs> You're so cute. It's just after 5 p.m. and you can tell that, especially in the winter, day is nice and quiet. It's a very sleepy place, which I like, especially if you want some tranquility, which goes to show why lots of artists and writers and things come here because it is the perfect place for that. It has the exact type of energy you need for creating and being in peace and being in your headspace. How I wanted to finish this video was going into this hostel that's behind me. It's called Hostel Villa Verde. Um, every time I've come today, I've seen this hostel. And one of these days, I'm gonna come here and stay there because it just looks so inviting and it's right you know, on the side of the mountain, perfect view. So it's definitely a place I'm gonna come back to. I was trying to ring the bell and no one was there. So I couldn't actually go in now, which is what I really wanted. I was thinking I'd have a coffee while the sun's going down while I'm waiting for my bus. It is a short bus ride, like 45 minutes, I think. Not bad at all, but you know what? This place is small in size, but big in beauty and even bigger in charm. So Dea, for sure, if I can get it in there. <laughs> definitely one of my favorite places in Mallorca um, and I can't wait to come and spend some actual time here like spend some days here and really take in the ambiance anyway guys thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video you're so cute I know you want me to play ball with you you want me to play ball with you but there's no one there to let me in <laughs> you're so cute next time next time Next time I'll play ball with you.